Welcome to SeaWorld of Florida, the world's most popular marine life park. You're about to get a special look at everything SeaWorld has to offer. The sights, the sounds, and the sensations that make it such a great place for family fun. We'll also peek behind the scenes to see a fascinating side of SeaWorld you won't see anywhere else. Now, I don't know about you, but picking my favorite SeaWorld show or exhibit would be a pretty hard job. But that's exactly what I'll be doing today. I have the special privilege of awarding this ribbon to the best attraction in the park, whatever I decide that is. So come along with me. Ooh, not you. Give me that ribbon back. You see, he thinks he should be awarding the ribbon, not me. But you know, SeaWorld would never let him pick the best. Come back here with that ribbon. I'm giving the award. Really, I am. Come on, we gotta get that ribbon back. And we gotta keep him out of trouble. I can't hide the way I feel Delighted So many great things can't believe that it's real The way to spend the day Like a mighty wave gonna carry you away Sea World Sensations Hey, hey, yeah Sea World Sensations Sea World Sensations So exciting Everything bright and new <laughs> So inviting The things our world has in store for you It's a wonderful place Guaranteed to put a smile on your face yeah, 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 yeah. Sea world sensations Sea world sensations Sea world sensations Oh yeah, yeah, yeah A whole new world to see and touch A new world to explore The way I feel <laughs> Delighted So many great things Can't believe that it's real A great way to spend the day Like a mighty wave Gonna carry you away yeah, yeah. Sea world sensations 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 I've got him now. Give me that ribbon. Come on, you're messing it all up. No, no, I'm not the bad guy here. See, he's the one who stole my ribbon. Really? Okay, you keep it for a while. But the least you could do is show everyone how the people interact with the animals here at Pacific Point Preserve. Oh, come on, you know how you like feeding the sea lions? Okay, I have to do it myself. Pacific Point Preserve is SeaWorld's biggest interactive habitat. You can feed seals and sea lions and learn about them at the same time. Two and a half acres of naturalistic rocks and man-made seawater replicate North America's rugged Pacific coast. Carefully engineered down to the last detail, there's even a hydraulic wave maker that creates waves up to two feet high. But all the residents know is it feels like home. About 70 members of the marine mammal family called pinnipeds live at Pacific Point Preserve harbor seals, fur seals, and California sea lions. Like true Californians, they love to surf. At the 5,000 gallon seawater tide pool, you can get the feel of anemones, starfish, and other animals that live at the water's edge. And at the dolphin community pool, you can touch and feed Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. If you don't get squeamish, you can touch and feed stingrays too. 40,000 gallon Stingray Lagoon offers a fascinating encounter with these ancient fish, the closest living relatives of sharks. Finally, I can get that ribbon back. Who's that mine? 
Thank you. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you so very much. It's so great to see all of you here at the Sea Lion and Otter Show. <laughs> You're in for a treat. In just a few moments, you'll see California sea lions, otters, and a really big walrus, which is going to take turns stealing the show with unforgettable performances, which I'm sure you'll agree deserve some kind of award. <laughs> See, you really want to help give the award, okay? And if you want to help decide which show or exhibit gets it, I don't think anyone will mime. Uh, mind? Besides, you're eager to help, and a mime is a terrible thing to waste. Oh, you don't like my jokes? Well then, never mind. No, uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I really mean it. You can help me give the award. You can even hold the ribbon for the rest of the day. But let's get going. We've got lots more to see. Like this place, Shamu's Happy Harbor. A three acre play area for kids with dozens of crawlable, climbable places, some that reach up to four stories high. And we'll see the Tropical Reef, a 160,000 gallon aquarium with exotic fish and other aquatic animals from all over the world. Then there's the Hawaiian Rhythms Polynesian dancers and the sand sculptures and the birds, all kinds. Don't forget the Clydesdales. What a sight. Did you know that the SeaWorld Water Ski Show is performed by world-class water skiers who do astonishing stunts here at SeaWorld every day? And how did you get over there? And how do your suspenders keep changing color? Powerful, awesome, fierce. Those are some words that come to mind when we think of killer whales. Though we once feared and dreaded these animals, we've come to learn what cultures, like the Clinkin Indians, have known for centuries. Killer whales prey on seals and sea lions and form relentless packs to hunt and kill larger whales. But they don't prey on human beings. We may never know why such a large, fearless hunter would seem to regard us as friends but we have learned many other things about the amazing killer whale. Killer whales aren't whales at all. They're the largest members of the dolphin family. They live and hunt in groups called pods. Their streamlined bodies and strong back muscles give them the power to swim at high speeds, to lift their entire bodies in spectacular leaps completely out of the water, to pursue and capture almost any creature in the sea. Killer whales reign as the supreme marine predators worldwide. They live in every ocean on Earth. Here at SeaWorld, Shamu and friends live in a huge complex of pools that contains over 7 million gallons of man-made seawater. The newest addition to the complex, Shamu Close Up, lets visitors get closer to Shamu than ever before. At the surface, you can watch training sessions and playtimes, 
or go below for an amazing underwater view. At close range, the killer whale's grace and beauty can be mesmerizing, so make sure you don't lose track of time. You don't want to be late for the show. I really think we're going to get wet if we sit here. I hate getting wet. You know, we can still move to the dry zone if we hurry. Now we'll never dry off it. Here we are at our next exhibit, and I'm still all wet, thanks to you. What's that supposed to be? An imaginary hair dryer or something? Oh yeah, right, like that's supposed to... Wow! How do you do stuff like that? Well, at least I'm dry and ready for the penguin encounter. What's this? Well, that's true, there is snow inside, but that's just for the penguins. All eight to 10,000 pounds of snow that falls into their habitat every day. And that's just one of the ways SeaWorld makes these Antarctic avians feel at home. The largest and most technologically advanced exhibit of its kind, the Penguin Encounter manufactures its own seawater and even regulates the light to simulate the seasons of the southern hemisphere. More than 200 king penguins, gentoos, and bounding rockhoppers share these first-class accommodations. Oops, there's nothing quite as refreshing as an afternoon dip in the frigid sea pool. No complaints about the room service either. The penguins' arctic cousins, the alcids, have their own cozy digs on the other side of the exhibit. More than 100 puffins, buffleheads, and murres charm and educate SeaWorld guests every day. Education is a major commitment at SeaWorld. Every year, more than 600,000 people of all ages take part in SeaWorld's educational programs. Students from preschool to college learn by seeing and even touching real marine animals, an inspiring experience no classroom can match. Instructional field trips are just the beginning. Programs range from in-depth lessons to teacher recertification. Kids really love the popular educational sleepovers, where they become the overnight guests of penguins, sharks, and other animals in the park. I don't know, could you sleep with this guy so close to your pillow? Day or night, no one can resist a trip through terrors of the deep, even if you tell them they'll confront the largest collection of dangerous sea creatures in the world. But who's afraid of hundreds of moray eels? Not me. At least not when there's three and a half inches of acrylic tube wall between us. Don't worry. They tell me the tube won't break, even though it supports over 500 tons of water pressure. After slithering our way through the eel tube, the fiendish fish gets smaller but even more dangerous. The lionfish might look pretty, but divers go out of their way to avoid those venomous spines. The same is true of the scorpionfish, which you can't even see until it's too late. 
Don't let this pudgy face fool you. The puffer fish doesn't have venomous spines, but parts of its flesh are deadly poisonous to eat. Here, puffers share an aquarium with surgeon fish, which have barbs as sharp as a surgeon's scalpel. They've been called tigers of the sea and torpedoes with teeth. But the truth is, barracudas rarely attack people. When they do, their bite and run tactics can tear fist-sized chunks of flesh right off the bone. Hmm, let's stay out of their way. Now this is the part everyone waits for and dreads. A 125-foot tunnel through dozens of man-eating sharks. Sounds more like a nightmare than fun. Sharks to your right, sharks to your left, sharks even over your head. Are we having fun yet? You bet we are. Sharks do attack people, but usually not on purpose. We're not the shark's favorite food. Sharks play an important role in the ocean's ecosystem, scavenging dead and dying animals. Many scientists, including those working with SeaWorld, study sharks and work to preserve them. You see, sharks aren't the real terrors of the deep. Neither are eels or barracudas or any other natural creature. But man-made pollution and destruction, that's truly a terror for the oceans and all the rest of the planet. But what can we do about it? Well, SeaWorld believes the more we learn about our planet and the living things on it, the closer we'll be to finding that answer. That's why research and learning are part of every animal exhibit and show at SeaWorld, like at the Whale and Dolphin Stadium. Great entertainment combined with education puts on a show you can't see anywhere else. But what you see is just a small part of the picture. As the trainers work with and care for these marine mammals, they collect valuable information, which they share with researchers all over the world. Though the bottlenose dolphin and false killer whale are not endangered species right now, they're part of a fragile marine ecosystem. We need to learn as much about it as we can if we're going to protect it. <laughs> and I can't think of a more fun way to do that, can you? Another species of marine mammal, this one perilously endangered, may find some hope for survival through SeaWorld's conservation efforts. The Florida manatee, a subspecies of the West Indian manatee, is very vulnerable to destructive human habits. Its numbers are already so low, it may be doomed to extinction. The manatee belongs to an order of mammals called Serenians, whose closest living relative is the elephant. Many species of Ceridians once swam the Earth's rivers and oceans, but the Florida manatee is one of only four species still living today. For millions of years, these gentle, graceful vegetarians have been a part of Florida's ecosystem, eating huge amounts of plants and helping to keep the waterways clear. They have never faced a threat to their existence until now. Boats injure and kill many manatees every year. Pollution is just as big a threat. Add the hazards of discarded fishing line, crab traps, floodgates, and habitat destruction, and it seems the manatee doesn't have a chance. But SeaWorld has not given up. Their tireless rescue rehabilitation and release program has saved over a hundred injured manatees and put many of them back into the wild breeding population. SeaWorld designed manatees, the last generation, to educate the public about the manatee's plight and to urge people to support manatee conservation through the way they work and play on Florida's waterways. Can an exhibit like this really make a difference? Just listen to what SeaWorld's guests are saying. I found this exhibit to be very moving. I'll be more careful now in driving my boat. When I go fishing with my dad, I'll be sure we don't leave any fishing line behind. If I am in a boat, I would tell the driver to slow down and watch for manatees. SeaWorld was an eye-opener. Let's all love the animals around us. SeaWorld's heroic conservation efforts aren't limited to the manatee. The rescue team also responds to calls about many other injured and orphaned animals. 
Whenever possible, after rehabilitation, they are released back into the wild. But the manatee is one of the most endangered. They reproduce slowly, so if too many of them die, their population might not recover. Unless enough people care, this unique and fascinating creature could be lost to us forever. Will manatee die? I hope he lives. Come on, cut that out. You don't see me doing that, do you? Feeling bad won't help the manatees. Besides, there's a silver lining to everything. Well, uh, like the babies. You know, the SeaWorld babies? The SeaWorld breeding program adds to the population of endangered species every year. And it adds a lot of cute new faces to the park, too. Many people thought the ultimate SeaWorld birth happened at Shamu Stadium. That's where, after her 17-month-long pregnancy, Can Do gave birth to baby Shamu, the first killer whale to be born and thrive in the care of man. This is As it turned out, baby Shamu's arrival was the first of many killer whale births at SeaWorld of Florida where scientists have been able to study an expanding killer whale social group for the very first time. SeaWorld's commitment to species preservation means we're sure to see many more new faces every year. Look at you. You still need cheering up. And I know the place where you can get it. No, I, I promise, you like it. No, let me give you some hints. Dancing, music, fire, and explosions. What? Do you think it's time to leave? Oh, you haven't been to SeaWorld after dark? What is this, some kind of mime curfew or something? If you haven't been here at night, you haven't seen all of SeaWorld. The sun fades into nightfall The shadows cast their spell Somehow things look different now In the twilight Anything can happen, you never can tell Life day gives way to the magic of a night Nature's power and sheer mystery A world of awe and mystic fascination It's the hour of pure fantasy Music and thunder, action and wonder
HMU. Fireworks, amazing high-tech lasers. What a way to end a great day. There's always something exciting happening here at SeaWorld. New sights, new sounds, and new sensations. That's why people love to come back over and over again. Oh, we forgot to give the award for the best attraction at SeaWorld. Wow, I forgot. You know, I thought picking my favorite thing would be easy, but... You know, you're right. The only thing we can do is give the award to the entire park. SeaWorld, you're the best. Sensations. Sea world sensations.